We played a lot of board games in August, but why are these our pick of the month? Hi, I'm Libby, this is Julian, and together we are Box Meeples. Of course, you can find us here on YouTube, but also do feel free to follow us on Instagram and all the other social medias as well. X. What's on X? So today we are talking about the games that stood out for us in August. We played a lot of games, but for me, I really enjoyed the game Suspects. Now this game is a series of murder mysteries. You are drawing cards to try to solve a riddle. You're trying to find out who done it, you're trying to find out why they done it, and there's lots of other questions you'll be thinking about as you go through this adventure. Now this is kind of, we've seen this kind of game several mm -hmm. times before. You know, we've seen similar things in the Exit games, we've seen similar things in the Unlock games. There's been other kind of murder mystery games. But this one I think works really well. Basically you, you are presented a case with a case notes, mm -hmm. and then you're given two bits of evidence, uh, which are kind of A4 sheets. And from that you can go wherever you want. You can explore however you want, you can talk to whoever you want. But there's a really clever mechanic in this because there is a scoring system. Now, you have a series of questions you have to answer at the very beginning. Usually it's, who killed the person? <laughs> uh, and the sooner you get to an answer, the better the score you're going to get. So if you find an answer after, say, 15 cards, you'll get 5 points. If you discover it after 30 cards, you'll get 3 points. If you discover it right at the end, you'll get less points. If you get it wrong, you'll get no points. Now you can change your opinion, your answer, as you go through the game, as you reveal more cards, but obviously that will reduce your points. But you do reveal all of the cards as you go through and you'll get to find out everything there is to find out about the case. And the cases are actually really good. Um, mm. They remind me, this, is, this is game is a 10 plus, so I don't expect it to be horrifically gory. Mm. But they are incredibly complicated. It reminds me kind of those Sunday afternoon murder mystery shows <laughs> you, you often get. In fact, it really reminds me of the um, Ace Attorney games where you get a almost a kind of slightly silly murder and you have to figure it out. Um, but as you reveal the cards, things kind of fit into place. And what's great about it is certain cards have little tokens on the side, little icons. And when you find something that matches up, you can then reveal another card. It's sounding like Chronicles of Crime meets um, those the book ones. Yeah, the Cantaloupe style. Cantaloupe, that's yes. the one. And I think it is inspired in the same way of those games by those old kind of detective point and click adventure mm. games uh, that used to be very popular. As you play through, it does think it seems very random because obviously you can go anywhere you want and sometimes you have no kind of bearing of what things relate to each other. But eventually it does all kind of slot into place. It's really satisfying when it does. The artwork in this is fantastic. It's really well done. Definitely your styling. Yeah, yeah. Um, very detailed drawings. Um, and what I liked about it, it doesn't use an app or anything like that. Mm. It's, it's quite self-contained. I actually played through all three of these cases on the train solo. It does play to six players. I, I think that'd be awful. <laughs> I can't imagine gathering around, all looking at a card and then sharing it. it there's yeah. better games to play if you want that kind of thing. It might work fun for two. So play through to the very end. And then once you do, you get to open the secret envelope. It's not just a case of here's the answers to the five things. It goes in quite a lot of detail about where you would have discovered those things. So say on card 15, it said this. And you're like, oh, I didn't understand. That's <laughs> what it was leading to. And it's, it's deeply satisfying when you've got it right, but it's it's equally satisfying when you haven't got it right, because then you start to kind of kick yourself, it's like, oh, it's hiding in plain sight. Um, and that's that's why it does remind me of those kind of Jonathan Creek kind of mysteries that, that we used to watch on the TV. <laughs> um, because yeah, it, it does feel like an insignificant detail on one of the cards is actually the key to the whole case, yeah, and it all unravels. Very well written and very nuanced. And we follow the adventures of of the Claire Harper. This is actually the second, I think the second, possibly the third Claire Harper game. There's also others in the Suspect series, all that follow the same thing. You can replay it, so you don't destroy anything. So mm -hmm. you'd obviously know the mystery, but you can hand the game on to someone else. You can even sell it if you want to. Um, but yeah, always nice just as a copy of this game, have a go. Mm -hmm. um, and so nothing's destroyed. It's not like an, an exit game in that way. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be keen to play more of these because mm -hmm. uh, they were just almost like kind of choose your own adventure style games or just really interesting kind of light and friendly murder mysteries. So I had a, a surprisingly fun time on a train. Each case lasts an hour. Perfect for a train ride. Ideal for a train ride. Really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. 
Um, for me this month, I mean, obviously we've been playing a lot of Rokana, mm -hmm. but I feel like we started without proper decks because we didn't have the starter decks. We have now got that. And um, I just want to kind of get into it a bit more, get to grips with the decks and stuff. So it hasn't quite made my game of the month, but it's certainly the thing that we were most excited about this month, like a lot of people out there, and really hoping to kind of dive down into it and all the sort of combos of cards and all of that will be coming. So maybe we'll see what happens, it's, what we play yeah, next month. I would say not the game month this month, We'll see, but um, yeah, the really one really loving it, really loving it. Though. Yes, absolutely. Just feel like need a few more plays to kind of yeah, just just get the most out of it. I suppose. I think mm. when you start with these things, and particularly when we didn't start with proper decks, um, then you kind of don't see the beauty of it until you kind of delving into how can you combo the cards and just a little bit of familiarity will just hike that up even more i think i mean obviously the artwork and it's amazing but another game that has also amazing <laughs> artwork um it's one that we ended up coming back to because we loved its sibling game so much and it made us want to play again um is cider blades um love this universe i mean the, uh, the artwork in this mm -hmm. is incredible um and it's been it's been quite a while since we've yeah. got this one i mean our friend has the fancy long deluxe box with the cute squishy orangey fruits mm -hmm. and all those fun bits and bobs and the nice meat miniatures people yep. who can go around i mean they would look amazing painted they would yeah. very excited to uh, ever get a copy of those and paint those up especially you now know how to paint i have just recently learned so that was another fun thing that happened <laughs> this month um but yeah in this one you're trying to upgrade to your different skills and go out and fight the monsters on the reef um or complete different missions around um and it, it was just such a lot of fun. I really love the dials, the way you're, and it's, it's, that, it's that interesting puzzle, isn't it? Do you kind of try and evenly clock up to try to be able to just be able to do everything a little bit better? Or do you end up ignoring one or two of the attributes and sort of double downing on something else mm -hmm. and seeing if you can sort of drag your way through one element but d just kind of, dive into another area that's going to hike up the points quick and things and that did end up being a winning strategy for someone surprisingly yeah. i think we all kind of weren't sure if that was gonna play off even though the player themselves was like oh i don't know if i've made a mistake <laughs> here it but it did it did pay off and um, yeah i just uh, trying to work out that puzzle of you know am i gonna go and fight now what positions are left for me to do what do i really need how am i gonna go and get the fruit mm -hmm. but then i really want to do this because that that space is open i really want to do my skill thing because it's going to give me that extra bonus but is there still a space to do it is that going to get me the thing that i need to do something else later down really great puzzle of what to do when and how um is the judge there can i get another point mm. for completing someone just stalked the judge when we mm. played it yes the judge has gone yeah. there i'll do those then yeah i'll go here then um, okay. Let's ignore the monsters <laughs> on the reef, they don't, yeah. need to, don't need to bother them. I mean, I think that was my downfall. There was a couple of rounds where I hadn't been able to go and contribute to the monsters, and then you end up, you know, basically getting shame for that, don't yeah. you? Um, and losing elements for that, so that just kept me a little bit behind. Um, but yeah, beautiful world, beautiful characters, um, it's gonna nice be nice puzzle. It's going to be exciting when the next one comes out. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Because um, yeah, the, the world is just great, and it's, you've seen that both in Banner Festival and here as well. Yeah, it's really great to be a part of that. And I love how these are. So, uh, yeah, I mean, they're so in the same universe. They're so kind of coherent between them, but the gameplay is worlds apart. Yeah. Um, and I'd almost, I'm all, I'd almost love to do a tidal blades evening where you do Banner Festival yep. and then you go into that one. This that would be great, and we could have each food. Yeah, as a beach music. <laughs> but yeah, that's my favourite game for August. Well, what's been your favourite game for August? Do let us know down in the comments below. Have you played something that's really stood out? Would you have committed to Volcana being your, your favourite <laughs> game of the month? It's probably you know it's gonna be it's gonna be next month. Let's, yeah. let's not muck around. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a great game. 
Uh, yeah, so do let us know down in the comments below. And if you're interested in buying board games, either these or other ones we've talked about in the past, ones on our shelves, a good place to do that is your friendly local game store. And for us in the southeast of England, that is Chaos Cards. It is indeed, yeah. And uh, don't mind if you're not in the southeast of England. They have a website as well. And if you check down in the description here, you will find a discount code which you can use on any purchase over £35 to get you a few extra pennies off. But as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.